Never in a million years would I have thought that I would see the day where I would find the love of my life. But thanks be to God, on September 26, 2020, I did in new time. When I first met you, I gave up on love due to past hurt and experiences. But in seeing your beautiful face and having breakfast with you at Kiki's for the first time, I knew from that moment that I wanted to marry you. I can go on and on about how much I love you and what I am willing to do for our new journey together as husband and wife. But God had other plans. Tyra, we are meant to change lives. And in this marriage, I'm about to change the world with you, to lead people to Christ with you, and to let the world know that in this new phase of our lives together, we are going to change things from old to new. Tyra, Melissa Stark, I love you. You are my queen, and God specifically saved you just for me. I can't wait to spend my life with you to forever and eternity. I vow that I am yours, Tyra Melissa Stark. I love you. Thank you for being my best friend and loving me even when I was unlovable. Your gentle spirit and kind heart makes me feel safe and wanted. In many ways, resemble the heart of Jesus. Many have asked me, when did I know you were the one? And honestly, that's how I knew it was when I saw your heart. Even in chaotic times, you remain calm like Jesus was when he was sleeping in the boat during the storm. Thank you for loving me. The me that no one else gets to see. The uncut version. The dramatic version. The crying version. All of it. You love it all and I, all, and I gotta always love you. All of you. I know I had my walls up in the beginning because I didn't want to make the same mistakes I did in the past. But you were patient and kind. I'm going to be patient and kind as well. Even though the Lord is still working on my patience. I adore you, and again, I love you, my pumpkin, Mary is Javon Stark. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I do now pronounce that they are husband and wife. <laughs>